Now on CBS 2 News and streaming on CBS in Los Angeles, a rough arrest caught on video. A surrendered suspect kicked by a San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputy twice. And good Saturday evening, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Leslie Muddy. And now that arrest happened after a high speed chase with a suspect in Victorville. Yeah, he was wanted for traffic violations. Now the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department is responding. CBS News' Candace Crone live at the Sheriff's Department tonight with more on this video and reaction. Candace. Yeah, this video was certainly alarming. It all started when, as you mentioned, this uh, officer was trying to pull the suspect over for a traffic violation in Victorville. Take a look at this video obtained uh, by TMZ. It was shot by a camera from a nearby Toyota dealership in Victorville. Well, it shows a suspect getting out from under a car. Investigators say he was hiding in a parking lot after leading deputies on a high speed chase and then ditching his motorcycle. Well, you can see him slouch over as he makes his way past a couple of parked cars. Eventually, he's confronted by a deputy with a flashlight. The suspect complies, puts his hands in the air, gets on the ground, and that's when the deputy kicks the man in the head twice. In a statement, Under Sheriff Shannon Dykus admits a use of force occurred. I want to ensure our community that it is our expectation that deputies respond to any incident professionally and in a manner that's consistent with their training. We know the community's trust is the platform which enables us to do our jobs. The deputy involved in this incident was immediately taken off duty and placed on administrative leave. A criminal investigation is being conducted. This investigation will be submitted to the district attorney. Now, Dykus went on to say that a security company that monitors the parking lot was the one who alerted Victorville police about the video. Back out here live, the suspect has been identified as 33-year-old Willie Jones. Uh, we're told that he was checked out by medics, booked into jail, and has since been released on bail. Live in San Bernardino, Candace Crone, CBS 2 News. All right, Candace, thank you.